My name is Ethan Hicks and I'm joined by Davin Brunswick and Paul Stoney. This is your weekly news from MHS Student News. We are here to inform you about local, state, and national events. This coming Tuesday at McCook City Council will have a meeting, a lot of things to consider. Some of the, some of the things are the city's property tax levy and the final tax request for the 2018-2019 budget and a request for a $6 million TIF expansion project. But but our main story is the $6 million TIF. The meeting will start off with the public comments and includes one to amend the re redevelopment plan for the next redevelopment area. This plan includes the McCook Ind Industrial Park north of Ravenswood Road and east of Belmont. The company would like to use $6.5 million in tax increment and increment financing to construct this phase. New building activity in the last month in McCook includes plumbing and roofing topped out over $200,000. Total estimate costs for the month of August were $202,000. This includes new plumbing at $15,000 and roofing at $2,000. Other building projects in August were two fences, $15,000. One sign, $1,000. One house, demolish, $7,000. And six, residential remodeling, $14,000. And two commercial remodels, $146,000. Also adding a new ATM, adding to the total. Hi, I'm Devin Brunswick, and this is your state portion of this week's news. On September 4th, Ben Sass, one of our Nebraska senators, was quoted for bashing Congress for being weak and not properly using his powers. Ben Sass even said, the people despise us. And why is this? Because we're not doing the job we were sent here to do. The Senate isn't tackling the great nation's problems that worry those we work for. The Senator even goes on to say, no one in this body thinks the Senate is laser focused on the most pressing issues facing the nation. No one. Some of us laminate this fact, some are angered by it. Many are resigned to it. Some try to dispassionately explain how they think it came to be, but no one disputes it. The senator even tweets about what he said, and he's brutally honest about the Senate that he works for is weak, unmotivated, and is not fulfilling its main purpose. According to the Lincoln Journal Star, there has been a, an ammonia leak that sent 20 workers to a hospital in Lexington. Tyson's Food is doing an investigation on what may have caused this outbreak. Firefighters were sent to the plant around 11.15. The employees from Tyson's plant in Lexington were evacuated when the firefighters arrived. One of the people who was infected was later transferred to a Lincoln hospital. That was it for the state portion of the news. Hi, I'm Paul Stoney and this is our national news. On September 5th, Tropical Storm Gordon poured rain down the Gulf Co course after it made the landfall just west of the Alabama and Missouri border, killing a child in Florida and the Florida Panhandle. According to the National Hurricane Center, the child's identity and age have not been released. The storm's strong winds made the power go out in Florida Panhandle and southern Alabama, leaving at least 30,000 people in dark. Later that day, it was downgraded to a tropical depression later that day. On September 6, at least three people died and two other Others were injured when a gunman opened fire at a bank in Cincinnati. The gunman opened fire at the loading dock and lobby area of the Fifth Third Center and the city's F Fountain Square around 9:10 a.m. The gunman is unidentified and died after the exchange gunfire with three to four policemen. One died on the scene. One wounded person was said to be in serious condition, while the other is in critical condition. Authorities were called to the scene in Fountain Square for an active shooter situation. Videos and photos were taken from witnesses showed multiple patrol cars at the scene. One photo showed a bloodied man being taken away on a stretcher. The witness told the news station that he thought it was a movie being filmed until he saw a woman with a gunshot wound being taken away. Another man who witnessed the shooting said, We heard, we heard two pop then we saw people running, so we just started running around the corner, and we kind of just stood there. And that is our national news.